Welcome back and joining us on the show now is Ajit Khurana. He's founder of Flexical and he tunes in to talk to us about the big run up that we've seen in cryptocurrencies, especially Bitcoin. Ajit, hi, thank you for joining us. Um, you know, it's the eighth biggest asset class in the world. It's cross capitalization of uh, silver. It is the 13th largest currency as well, leaving Swiss franc behind as well. I mean, the kind of run up that we've seen, would you call it mature? Or we've already gone through some cycles where we see all-time highs and big crashes. How is this one looking to you? So I think that we are at the beginning of this price run, though because everybody who is invested in Bitcoin is presently in profit, there are several who are taking profit. Retail participants in the ETF are used to taking profits for as little as 5% or 10% gains that they may make in a year. As far as the asset class itself is concerned, I think that we are seeing a lot of maturity now that it's available to stock market investors, uh, but we have a long way to go. All right. U.S. Uh, regulators moved in into spot, uh, I mean, allowed spot ETFs and uh, Bitcoin, and we've seen almost $50, $55 billion at the last count that I did in sense of fund inflows. With the way the U.K. regulators also have moved in, I mean, do you see more positive cues coming in from various countries? Simply the short-term demand for any asset is only based on demand and supply, right? So I think that we are just at the beginning of the demand from the retail customer who was so far not into Bitcoin. But the word of caution here is that when prices rise so rapidly, and let's say it doubles even from this point of time, the reverse trend could also start where everybody starts booking profit all of a sudden and the supply glut comes in also. Oh, well, absolutely. You know, just a couple of cryptos here. And um, Ajit, if I look at Bitcoin, uh, last October, September, October was 20,000. We are trading at 70,000. Ethereum was at 13, 1,500. We are trading at around 4,000 right now. So even as and when profit taking comes, which you say is, is perhaps the next thing that we will see here, how much of a decline are you looking at? I don't expect too much of a decline, except, you know, a wild card in the case of Ethereum. Presently, a lot of people be believe that the Ethereum ETF may be uh, uh, permitted as soon as April or May uh, because of the upcoming meeting. Now, if it is approved, then yes, we see a significant run-up for Ethereum. But because Ethereum does not have the same qualities, financial qualities as Bitcoin, there's a chance it may not get accepted. And if it doesn't, then there, there could be a much bigger crash in Ethereum in case the ETF is not approved. Oh, well, absolutely. You know, uh, last time when we saw the cryptos run up, it was gradual. We saw India participate in a big way as well. Uh, with this uh, sudden run up, too much too soon rather, and with the kind of taxes that we have in India, even as the registrations with exchanges have been high, but the active participations we understand is not really there where we used to be. Uh, that's absolutely right. It is very unfortunate that an asset class which is allowed to legally trade in India, Bitcoin and crypto, is still not allowed to function smoothly or seamlessly, thereby moving volumes from Indian exchanges to foreign exchanges, which can't be good for us. Hmm. How are you looking at the Web3, uh, uh, the overall cryptos, the blockchain? I mean, we don't use, uh, see a lot of coverage within India with all of these buzz names right now. How would you rank Place India and what's happening in the global markets? In terms of number of people participating in this space, India is very robust. However, in terms of dollar volumes or rupee volumes, we are a very small uh, participant. That is because the average ticket size of Indian participants is between 50 and 500 rupees in Web3, which is different than what they do in Bitcoin. While globally, the numbers, I would say, are at least 10x of that. As a result, the bigger players are still having a little bit of wait and watch and they are playing the crypto game only by buying assets as opposed to participating in decentralized finance as well as other opportunities that Web3 presents. All right. Thank you so much uh, for that, Ajit. So clearly huge numbers coming in there, but the expectation that uh, uh, you could be looking at a profit taking is, of course, a word of caution coming in there. And the loss for the Indian markets, of course, it's very volatile. There have been various statements from regulators, ministry. So the participation clearly uh, at a loss when it comes to India. Okay. All right, uh, Manisha. Thanks very much for that and giving us all of that perspective. Uh, well, uh, for the markets, uh, there's